This video shows you how to use the Kit 453 to swap an existing CPP500 series with a CPP539. The kit contains the following items. One upgrade quick guide, one CPP539 with a cover panel attached, one patch cable, one ESD wrist strap, and a bag containing 11 torque screws, five cable ties, one ethernet card, and a fueling point ID label. If any of the items mentioned are missing, contact sales at doms.dk. Using the PSS5000 service menus, obtain the current IP address used by the PSS, all the protocol to port assignment details, and make a copy of the current PSS configuration. Close all the devices connected to the PSS and validate the status of each. Disconnect the mains power and ethernet cables from the PSS. Open the cabinet door. Establish the anti-ESD conditions. Disconnect the following internal connections, the power cable to the CPB and the internal ethernet cable at the CPB and at the ethernet adapter. Label the individual ribbon cables with the serial port numbers. Remove all the screws securing the panel covering the CPB and then lift it away from the installation. Remove the two screws securing the ethernet adapter and then lift it away from the cabinet. Support the CPB and remove all the remaining securing screws. Now lift the CPB away from the cabinet. Take the CPB 539 out of the ESD bag and remove the cover panel. Align the CPB so that the bottom of the board is at the same level as the bottom of the board you just removed. Insert five torque screws to secure the board to the door. Place the new ethernet adapter in position and secure it with two torque screws. Secure the cover panel with the remaining torque screws. Connect the ethernet cable in the cabinet to the ethernet adapter and to port 41 on the CPB. If this cable is not long enough, remove it from the cabinet and swap it out with the one provided with the kit. Now secure it using the cable ties provided. Identify each serial cable and then connect it to the correct port on the CPB 539. Connect the green power plug to the CPB. Insert the external ethernet cable and mains power cable. Use a patch cable to connect the service PC to port 42 on the CPB 539. Set up the IP address of your service PC so that it is in the same range as port 42. Open a browser and type in the IP address 192.168.42.2. Use the username and password provided in the Kit 453 Upgrade Quick Guide, create a new password and then sign in. You now have access to the FCC web application. Select menu 561 TCP IP and set the IP address for port 41 with the same address as used by the previous CPB. Select menu 53 protocol to port assignment and set the assignments so that they match those used by the previous CPB. Using your PSS configurator tool, open the configuration you saved earlier and then send it to the PSS using the IP address for port 42 and log on using the credentials you just created. Close your configurator and return to the FCC web application. Select menu 71 online list and validate that all the devices connected to the PSS are online. Log out of the PSS web application and disconnect your service PC from port 42. Close the cabinet door and secure it with the locking screws. The upgraded PSS 5000 forecourt controller is now ready to be validated before it goes live. 